must be, I am on of the opinion, we must be very liberal. When we approach to science, we should not have any reservations. We must be, uh, we must be open and this must be objective. We should never be fanatic. So whatever is acceptable, Ayurvedam and the Vedas always open. Ano Bhadra Kradho and the Vishwadaga. That noble thoughts come from all sides. We are always ready to receive anything which is good. And Ayurveda insists that a person who studied only on science, he has studied nothing. He must be Behushastra Visharat. He must know many, many branches of science. Wherever all contemporary science, he must be having an inkling. I mean, never be fanatic. Like the religion, the science also is like that. From the Vedas also, Ayurveda originated. So the Vedic qualities Ayurveda will also have. Ayurveda is a objective science, practical science. There are places where it has some differences in Dharma Shastra and Ayurveda. For, exa for example, certain food materials which are placed in Ayurveda are forbidden in Dharma Shastra. For example, Loki. Loki, according to Dharma Shastra, it is Abhakshyam. But Ayurveda uses it as a medicine. It has got great medicinal properties. It has described the property or guna of all the meat. But meat is an apakshya according to Dharma Shastra. These are the areas where it may have some difference. But in all other aspects, ethical aspects, Ayurveda accept the entire Vedic ethics as such. So we are so liberal to understand. And we are ready to give out. As far as I am, I am concerned, there is no secrecy at all. I always, please come with me, I will show what all things you can do. Certain areas, you yourself may feel, at present I am not capable of doing that. Then acquire the skill by more experience. That's all. There is absolutely no secret at all. If at all we, are, we were keeping some secret, to, it is for the protection of mankind. Because it has double-edged weapon, it may be misused. That's why certain things are being kept secret. For, for example, Marmat Jnana, that we put into practice in many, many massage th therapy, everything. But some points are very dangerous. We can kill a person within seconds. No forensic medicine can find out how the person died. Can we teach everybody? So that will be harmful to the person who is teaching. He will be ruined. So certain precautionary measures are insisted by the Shastras for the protection of mankind. We have, we have no inhibition at all. It is to be taught. Whoever is ready to accept, it must be given. But the personal blemishes are there. It will be dangerous for him and for the society. So some precautions are there. It is protective and not commercial. For example, if, you, if we, a medical company sees, there are so many queries from uh, many medical uh, manufacturers to give formula. I tell them, I can give you thousands of formula, but it will not be universal. Some person may uh, respond, many others may not respond. <coughs> when this is, uh, oh, then we can develop a wound healing medicine that can settle all over the world. It is not possible. The person like Ramachandran comes and they are having ulcer in the gluteal region. This medicine may not be useful if the wound is in the chest. The place to place varies. Whereas a pus is taken and culture and sensitivity done, same antibiotics is given for any wound. It is not like that. The person is having a wound and non-healing on the scalp and the feet. More Ayurveda cannot prescribe the same medicine. Uh, both are different. Some Yes. So, what is the way that you administer Duruva? The, those are general preparations. That anybody can. For it is a, I told you it is a dietary supplement. That is why I told you you can add uh, to the uh, kanji when you prepare gruel. Just put the juice also you can take as a food. Durva means the grass. Yes. 
for a special grass is Durva. Many. So, this, there are a number of items like neem, haldi, all these are folk. <coughs> you know, we have this parampara. I mean, our grandparents have been saying that yes. if you have this problem, then you just. So, many medicines are extracted from the kitchen. Yes. In fact, there are books also to say the, uh, the doctor in your kitchen or something like that. Yes. So, but according to you, I cannot apply the same neem may actually produce one result in one person, may produce another result in another person. So, the, are you saying that therefore <coughs> these folk medicines should be avoided? No. Time tested. That will never produce any harm. They may not produce very good results in everybody. That's all. The efficacy may be different from different persons. That will never prove to uh, somebody uh, takes neem leaf. Have you ever heard somebody died out of taking neem leaves? No. But efficacy may be different. That's all. When we come to Venjanas, for example, we have divided into different categories. Nature also is having that categorization. For example, star carbohydrates as the main source of energy for living beings. So, carbohydrate it is available in thousands of ways, tubers, cereals and many types of fruits. The abundance is proportional to the want. When come to Venjanas, Venjana means it is in language or phonetics Venjana is there, vowels are there. When Venjana itself is there, it will not, it will cannot be expressed properly. When it is added to vowels, then only sound will come. The same way we season the food with Venjana, for example, coriander, cardamom, cloves, all these things in minor dose, it will express itself, it will become tasty. So, distribution on universe is also very limited. For example, cardamom is very highly eco specific, 3000 feet above sea level, humid conditions, and good rain alone, cardamom will grow eco specific. This is not wanted without carbon, cardamom, living beings can live, but without carbohydrate, it is not possible. That is why the nature has got high precision. The availability of materials, whether it is botanical or whatever it be, it is based on the real requirement. Iron, is it equal to gold? And iron, is, is the nature has got high precision and a purpose. It is not has haphazard. Gold has only limited applications. Iron is available in so many sources. When you come to platinum, come to uranium, it is very, very limited. Location is very specific and limited. This is not useful. So, the quantum of the whole universe is regulated in the nature. There is the expressive form. This our Rishi is realized. From that realization, medicines are being evolved. Can you can you see for jackfruit in Kerala? You come, you can see how it is growing. Morning and evening, if you take the girth of the fruit, it will be different. Same day. But close, small thing. Close. Levang. Will it grow like that? Take pepper. And there are very, these are very slender things. You cannot imagine something growing which is having sweet. That will may be very sweet means carbohydrate. Carb that will be always big. You cannot see a so small thing which is having carbohydrate. But uh, that also will grow profusely. For example, cereals, wheat are small, but their growth is in a very greater quantity. The same way things which are not useful for uh, living beings, that is very less. And harmful medicines are, harmful plants are there. They grow in very, very, very much limited way. 
there are some plants if you if you smell it it may be fatal there are such plants but it is very difficult to find them out but then are you saying that whatever grows in abundance yes is more demanded by human beings not not human beings whole living that i am citing carbohydrate carbohydrate distribution in different species are there it is available anywhere in the world it may be potato it may be sweet potato it may be rice it may be wheat it may be cereals so many are there that this is this is the only source for uh, energy that distribution is all same so the will of prakriti we, I, we call god he is the greatest scientist no doubt about it and he has done it in a very uh, reasonable manner there is no rational in the rationality in that we may we may may not succeed in finding out this rishi is they are one with that and they bring out the science that it, it is infallible where sensory input will have no effect at all they discard and dismiss at pante avajishtande jnanani manasasaha buddhisthe vijeshadi tamahu paramangadi the so called buddhi is being stilled and they go ahead so you are uh, always living with the sense organs all the laboratory iit is based on this it is uh, quite unfortunate even shaddarsanas are not taught in in the institution world over it, it, it these darsanas been acclaimed by western philosophers <laughs> there is no there is a faculty here that is india we are going to learn ayurveda from the west when they start saying this things will change we are very much predisposed to white skin i am not <laughs> that's all because some some other we say for marriages also the how the whether the girl is fair some other the indian mind is bent about the fair and they are trying to become uh, 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 that is what is tan tanning this is healthy the all the blacks are far far healthier than the whites but our mind is very <laughs> wrong way we follow that all disorders i would say better <laughs> not out of it emergencies emergency management ayurveda i told the ashwara sanyaya we are not having uh, proper gadgets to be used it is not vogue but it is quite possible for example the gillen barre syndrome gillen ascending paralysis ascending paralysis patients they recover spontaneously certain case may land into difficulty and it may be fatal ascending paralysis uh, gillen barre ayurvedam can save them it is ascending barre gradually at last uh, the patient dies out of respiratory paralysis it's a very costly treatment no 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 absolutely no in the, in the, uh, this uh, modern medicine very costly uh, pla- 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 plasma paralysis you have to spend lakhs 2 lakhs 3 lakhs at least you know. and the patient invariably will die that is another thing whereas ayurvedam has got very effective remedy comparatively less expensive but we must have some ventilator with us so life is preserved the patient can be saved life supporting measures we are lacking life supporting measures are used that's what we are doing gillen barre patients we have we treat without any danger by the grace of god everybody i mean there is no fatality so far so many other diseases are like that but we must that is why we must adopt whatever is